Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you to please do your own research. All media users found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Well, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. So I'm going to do a little bit of catch up. On the 2nd of May, we had Princess Charlotte's sixth birthday. She's turning into quite the little lady and the princess. She's reportedly six going on 16, according to Prince William, but with an older brother and a younger brother, she's got to keep them in check. So it's hardly surprising. The Cambridges released a lovely birthday photograph of the very, very smiling, happy birthday girl. This did cause a tiny bit of controversy on social media. I know, I know, um, because people were saying that she has had her hair highlighted. Um, she's a little girl and, um, well, it doesn't matter if you're a little girl or a little boy, um, their hair tends to change. My hair still changes colour in the sunshine. So they're very much an outdoorsy family, very country. And uh, I think most people that have got children notice that their children's hair colour completely changes in the summer months to winter months so I've got no idea what that drama was over but on a positive note about her hair she's definitely got her mum's hair hasn't she look at that six years old and she's got thicker longer shinier hair than what I will ever have so the happy smiley picture was actually in quite contrast um, to Archie's birthday picture. Archie actually turned two on the 6th of May and his picture, I don't know, I found it kind of sad. It's depressing more than anything. It was a sepia picture that they released on their Archwell website. Thankfully, we didn't all have to wait or to go on there. The media quickly released the picture themselves. I find it such a lonely picture of a child on their birthday. There's no colour, there's no smiles, there's no family, there's no friends, there's no... All right, he had balloons, but I mean, it didn't really matter. One, they're not environmentally friendly, Harry. And secondly, you know, it, it was just a black and white picture. It's like the pictures, when you buy a picture frame from the store and you've just got that kind of generalised piece of paper behind it. It could have been anyone's child and I just don't understand why share a picture of him at all? It's like, look at our child, but don't look at our child. I think if it's all to do with security and they want to protect him, don't release pictures of him at all. But to do this constant thing of, oh, it's an ear, it's a foot, it's the back of him. She was quite clearly fine with showing Archie's face the other day when she got caught doing that pap stroll. You know, she was turning Archie towards the camera. And I just, I find it very, very weird. And it definitely just adds this constant fuel onto the fire. Of, Why won't they let us see Archie? Why won't they show Archie? Is there something wrong with Archie? And I mean, God forbid, that's not what I'm saying. I think they're also putting a price tag on his head because it's going to make it for when they do go out people are going to be it's going to be the money shot and I find that very very wrong they said that they one of the many reasons why they left the monarchy was they wanted to protect Archie they wanted to give him as much of a normal life growing up as they can they didn't want him to have the prince title if you remember because Harry was at his happiest when he was just a captain Wales in the army and he didn't want you know his children to have that this has all since changed Meghan is now fighting for her son's birthright it is his birthright to be a prince it's at odds really for saying every time they get onto a world platform or a world stage or someone will listen that they want social equality they want everyone to be equals but please call me a duchess and please call my husband husband and son a uh, prince. It's at odds with what they're saying, but as is everything with them. I still can't help but feel that they're, they're using their child to promote their causes. The, um, the birthday picture went up and they were talking about honouring their son's birthday. Again, children, millions of children all around the world every single day celebrate their birthday. Do we talk about honouring our child's birthday like they're some sort of next second coming or something? Let's honour our very privileged son's birthday by getting you to donate $5 to the latest bandwagon cause that we have jumped on. There's something that's unsettling about that. You know, they used Archie with the Spotify. They used Archie when he was on Oprah. The first time people really got to see Archie was on world stage with cameras and film crew everywhere meeting Desmond Tutu. And this is what I think is very wrong. How can you say you want to protect your child, but you're literally using him as a market employee to get attention, to get likes? It doesn't seem very right to me.
As for the Vax live concert, I didn't watch it. It holds no interest for me. I thought it was more of a <laughs> political grandstanding sort of concert, in all honesty. Harry was on stage talking about, you know, we need to share, we need to share as many of the jabs, you know, get, get it out to the poorer countries. Megan did the same when she came on and did her video debut, talking on the bench. <laughs> but what I don't understand is these people that are saying this. But do they think that we're sitting on warehouses full of them, like Gollum, you know, my precious my precious we don't want to share them oh, well you can't have any you can't have any but regardless of that because that's a path I don't want to go down I know you eat some some of you guys are pro some of you guys are not I've told you before I've had my vaccine but that's only because I've got vulnerable people in my life did I want the vaccine no did I feel pressured to have it yes I'll be honest but I'm alive so it obviously hasn't killed me but it's one of those things that is very controversial at the moment and for Harry to stand on camera and to turn around and say science should not be politicized Harry you should not be you are a UK born prince, a member of the royal family. You've now moved to America where you've lived roughly a year, probably less than a year. You don't pay taxes, you're not a US citizen, but you're standing there on a stage sharing it, you know, with, with pretty much Biden, talking to Americans of what they need to do. Princes of the United Kingdom should not be involved with things like this. If he wants to renounce his title of being prince and become an American citizen, then fine. But I think this is incredibly wrong. Who does he think he is? He is a prince that has grown up in palaces with servants his entire life. He is now a prince in America. They've got that huge $14 million mansion, right? They've got staff, they've got aides, they've got companies, they've got people doing everything for them. So his life from being brought up in a palace hasn't really changed. And that's not to say that they can't have opinions and champion things, but they live in a bubble of elite champagne socialist ideolo ideologies. They're not real people, as far as I'm concerned. They don't understand what it's like for the average person. And here they are talking yet again about where, how everyone in the world should live their lives. Pipe down. We thought at first that, oh, Megan's not there, something must be really off for her, you know, for her to turn down the appearance. But it turned out that she'd actually filmed herself on her favourite spot, the bench. I wonder where she got the idea of the bench from in the book. Now, just like her other video that she did, it's the same facial expressions. It's almost like she's a CGI copy of herself. She's saying the same things with the same amount of expression, the same amount of light behind her eyes. To me, it's just, she could be talking about selling crisps or she could be talking about something that affects the world. And it would be exactly the same. This is the signs of someone that is just promoting rather than actually talking about something that makes them passionate. I mean, you've, you've seen me sometimes when I start talking about something and I get my hands and I do my little orchestra conduction and, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm very expressive and I'm very loud. We all are. You think about when we get onto a subject that we really want to make a difference, but there's no passion behind her. As I said, she could be selling anything and that's what I feel she is doing. They are doing now what they could have done in the royal family, but the difference is... Now they get paid for it. Now they get paid when they do these charity appearances. They get paid for promoting charities. They get paid for turning up and handing out events. They take photographs and sell the photographs of them turning up at these charitable events. That, to me, is not charity. That is being greedy and all about money, but using the, the next shield, it's all for charity. No, it's not. There is a reason why they registered Archwell in Delaware. It is a known tax haven state. They don't have proper investigations into their books. And there is also this thing with the foundation. For every donation that they get, only 5% actually has to go to the charity. If you wanted, you had the money and you thought, oh, I really like this cause that Harry and Meghan are promoting right now. I'm going to donate $10,000 or £10,000. Just 5% will actually get paid to the cause. Well, that's what they can do. That's the, like the bare minimum. That's not to say what they do donate. But the rest of your 10,000 will get taken up with their salaries, with their staff salaries, with overheads, utility bills. Even if they've had a photograph of them turning up to hand over the check to the charity or to hand over food parcels, all of the clothes that they're wearing, everything can be literally put aside as expenses. It's all tax write-off because it's all charitable endeavours. I mean, take Global Citizen. This is the ones that actually did the Vax Live concert that Harry, you know, is campaigning with and stuff, and they're blowing smoke up Harry's and Meghan's butts. 
right? They're a charity that has said in their manifesto that they're going to get rid of world poverty uh, by like 2030, right? If, if we follow them. A lot of the people that are high up, they all earn six figure salaries, right? These, this is the same with many, many charities. This is not me just taking a swipe at Global Citizen, but this is what I mean. All of these people that are saying, we need your money. We need you to help us live like millionaires. I can't remember where I read it. Um, it was probably in the comments of like one of the newspaper articles, but someone said it is a reverse Robin Hood story where you rob the poor to feed the rich and never has a truer word been spoken. Now, before I finish up on my moment first, the other thing that I don't like is I don't understand why these celebrities, and um, particularly Meghan and Harry, every little thing, whether they're making a pastry, whether they're delivering food, they've sent a letter, they've sent a cake, we hear about it. And it's boring, it's predictable, it's every single day. It's done more for their PR, look at us, look at me. Now, speaking of look at me, Harry and Oprah's mental health programme is finally come into light. No, I won't be watching it before anyone asks. No, I'm not taking another hit for the team. That's down to you guys now. <laughs> I'll just read about it in the newspaper. Harry is reportedly going to talk about his traumas and I'm just thinking with the tagline that they have used, the me you can't see, can I just say that we have seen more than enough of Harry and Meghan since they left for their quiet life and just perhaps it's time to give it a break and be the me that we can't hear. Just for a little while, please. If you like my video, please remember to like and subscribe. Please angry typists, you will be blocked, so save your fingers the time. If you would like to buy me a coffee, please go to my about page and click the link. Love, Taz.